I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a very basic concept of finding related acute angles for a given situation. The question here is state all the angles between 0 to 360 degrees that make each equation true. So we will work with four examples. Now to get the right answers for all these what do we have to look into? Important thing to consider is the rule in which quadrant which trigonometric ratio is positive right so all are positive in quadrant 1 sine in 2 tan in 3 and cosine in 4 so that's important to remember let's look into the first one we are looking for sine 30 degrees now sine 30 degrees is in quadrant 1 so it is positive where else is sine positive it is positive in quadrant 2 also right so in this particular case, we have an angle which is kind of like this. We are given sine 30, which is here, right? And another positive value will be in quadrant 2, making an acute angle of 30 degrees. So the answer should be 180 minus 30. So this will be sine of 180 degrees minus 30 degrees, correct? That gives you sine of? 150 degrees. Do you see that? So that is how you are going to solve these questions. Now let's look into the next one. It is minus cos minus 45. So when we are talking about minus cos minus 45, so minus 45 is something here. As you know, cos is positive here, but so it could be written as in this quadrant with a negative sign. So I could write this as, this is positive, right? So I could write this as minus cos 45 degrees, right? So we are looking for a negative value. Now cos is negative in which quadrants? In quadrant 3 and 2, right? So that these are the two quadrants. Now in each quadrant, the acute angle is 45. And therefore, the angle which we are looking forward here is either 180 minus 45 or 180 plus 45 correct so we get two solutions here one of them will be cos of 180 plus 45 so I could write this as plus 45 and minus 45 degrees do you understand in both these quadrants cos is negative so we'll get a negative value right so these are the two angles which will make the statement true correct so that is how you have to answer the question correct so you can do 180 minus 45 is equals to 135 so one of the angles will be 135 degrees and the other will be 180 plus 45 and that is 225 so the other angle will be 225 degrees so that is how you can get angles between 0 to 360 for which these statements will be true so for the first case the angle is x equals to 150 degrees correct now let's go to question number 3 c which is tan 120 degrees now tan 120 degrees means the principal arm is in quadrant 2 right it is in quadrant 2 where that is 120 degrees so the acute angle is 60 degrees 180 minus 120 therefore for a positive value and here we are given negative of tan so we have to look into two quadrants where tan could be negative because we expect a negative answer right since we expect a negative answer and we are already given a negative sign here we should actually be looking into the positive side is it okay tan is positive in quadrant 1 and 3 with acute angle of 60 degrees in both these quadrants what angles do you get so if i write one as 60 degrees the other one as i have to write minus because of this will be 180 plus 60 right 180 plus 60 is 240 degrees so these are the two answers so for part C, the angles will be 60 degrees and 240 degrees, correct? 
Now here is the last question. We are looking for sine of minus 30. Sine of minus 30 is minus sine 30. So we are looking for negative answer. When is sine negative? Sine is negative in coordinate 3 and 4 with an acute angle of 30 degrees. So, so that is the terminal arm and the angles are 180 plus 30 and 360 minus 30. So these angles are 180 degrees plus 30 degrees and 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. So that will give you 0, 1, 210 degrees and 330 degrees. Do you see that? So that is how we can find all the angles. So let me rewrite the answers. So the angle X in each of these cases will be in the first case 150 degrees. In the second case there are two solutions 135 degrees or 225 degrees. In the third case we have two solutions 60 degrees or 240 degrees. In the fourth case we got 210 degrees or 330 degrees right. So I hope you understand the concept. One is we need to check which ratio is positive in which quadrant. The second one, we have to relate it with the acute angle. I hope the concept is clear. Let's move on and do some more questions on this. Thank you and all the best.